Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pete and I have your word for the day. As we've been going through Matthew, you've had the opportunity to hear of some great miracles that Jesus has done. And here in Matthew 9, verse 32, we pick up on Jesus doing one more miracle right after the people that received the last miracle leave. So listen to what it says here, Matthew 9, starting in verse 32. As they were going away, the people that Jesus had just healed, as they were going away, behold, a demon oppressed man who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke and the crowds marveled saying, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, he casts out demons by the prince of demons. So we have Jesus doing this amazing miracle here, healing a mute man who had been oppressed by demons. What can we learn about this for today? What does it mean for us today? Well, first off, I think it obviously means that Jesus has power over darkness and he has power over evil. So what we can do with that with our own lives is think about the battles we're facing. Are we facing battles with evil? Maybe we have foes that we believe are just out to destroy us. Maybe we're faced with just the evil in our own hearts and we know that that wants to destroy us. Whatever evil you're facing in your life, I want to encourage you to bring it to Jesus because Jesus is the one who has power over evil and over darkness, and he can heal you. He can help you get through that difficult situation. The other thing that we see here is we see that the Pharisees look at what Jesus did and they attribute it to Satan. We need to be really careful. We can design so many different kinds of religious tests and rules and ritualistic rules on what we will accept God doing. And the Pharisees here were clearly wrong. They had their religious reasons and maybe their selfish motivations for attributing something that Jesus did to Satan. But we can maybe do some of that too, where we doubt that God has worked in someone's life or we doubt that God would work in a certain way. So a couple of ideas that might help us be careful and discerning is be quick to listen before you pass any judgment on whether God is working or Satan is working. Listen, listen to people's stories, listen to what they say about their experience, and then pray about it. Pray that you would be able to cut through and discern what's going on in a situation. Another thing is bring it to God's word. What does God's word say about this situation? And then after you've done all of these things, then you can kind of weigh out and discern who gets the credit for what is happening here. So Jesus, our mighty savior, able to conquer darkness because he was God and he was good. So bring your struggles to him today. Hope this blesses you today, Calvary. Have a wonderful day.